Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, Bangalore. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you how you can create closed polygons from a mass of networked polylines and edges. In this drawing, you can see that there are different layers. For example, this is field bund layer. This is line stream. Uh, this one is ro poly road and so on. So there are different layers and different polygon edges and let us create closed polygons out of this. So we go to GeoTools, go to the build menu and choose this command here called create closed polylines from a mass of network polylines. The command name is called gt underscore cc poly. There are two methods for scanning automatic and selected points. So let us choose the automatic option now. The automatic option will scan through the entire area based on a scan window size and a zoom window size. The scan window size is the sampling interval. You need to set this value by understanding your data properly. For example, 25 is the sampling interval, which, which means at every 25 distance in the vertical and horizontal direction, the program is trying to determine the closed polygon that is going to fit in that area and use that as a basis for processing. The zoom window size is the size which is going to be zoomed in during each processing. This must be set to approximately cover the largest expected polygon in the data sample. So in this case, I am setting the scan window size as 25 and the zoom window size as 500. This value you can make a best guess from your data and sometimes you may be able to refine it with some trial and error as well. Select layer for closed polylines, that is closed polygons. I'm going to choose this, which is an existing layer. And select layer for polygon edges. So I need to choose here with the multiple select button, field bound, line boundary, line stream, off and poly road. All those layers which form the polygon edges must be selected here. Pick first corner, so I'm going to select this corner as the first one and this is the other corner to cover the entire area. So now the program does a scanning in the horizontal and vertical direction and after this scan it will create closed polygons which match each selected point. This operation may take a little time so you will have to be a little patient. You can see that it's done it now already. So in the closed polygons layer, I have all the closed polygons, which are closed polylines in the CAD context. So this was pretty quick. Let us see how many polygons it has created. So we do a make cell selection of all the objects in closed polyline. So 49 polygons were created, 49 closed polygons were created in this operation. So this is one way of creating closed polygons by the scan method. But what if you already have centroids and you want to build closed polygons around the centroid? So that is done using the selected points option and let us look at that in detail. So first I'm going to delete the existing polygons I created just now. And I have a layer here called polygon centroids. So I switch that on. So in this method, I already have the polygon centroids in the polygon centroid layer. And using this as the base, I'm going to now create the closed polygons from these individual lines. So the method is similar. I just go back to this command, use selected points as the option. Layer for closed polygons is same closed polygons and the layer for polygon edges also remains the same all the polyline edges now you have to select the centroids so i'm going to select all the centroids here this one also if i have selected the text by mistake i'm just excluding that from the selection so you can see that now the CC poly command is running and it has created closed polygons based on the centroid method. So it looked at all these centroidal points and scanned around it to find the nearest closed polygon. So this command runs on the command line as well. It is called gt underscore CC poly. 
or you can find it from the menu it runs identically in AutoCAD as well and you can find it in exactly the same location as in BricsCAD. Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions.